Okay guys, I'm here to draw a dinosaur with you. So it's just me. So please remember, since I'm the only one drawing, if you need to stop and catch up, hit pause, catch up to where Miss Lawson is, and then at start play when you're ready to go. There are your two sheets that will be linked, the coloring sheet and your how to draw dinosaur. Um, we are starting with our paper vertical. And what we're gonna do today, we are gonna make the invisible line. So take your bottom of your paper and you're gonna fold it to meet the top. Gently crease it and then open it back up. This is our invisible line right here. Now I'm not gonna take a pencil and draw a line. I just wanna see it from where the fold is. That's letting Miss Lawson know that I'm gonna be drawing the head um, above this fold and then the neck will be going across and the body will co be coming down um, on the bottom of that fold. So that fold is just for me to know where to put my parts because if I put my eyeballs um, on the line, then my dinosaur is not going to have enough room for the rest of it. So get your tools, whatever you're using. Let's talk about the supplies in my pencil pouch. Pencils, mechanical pencils, crayons, colored pencils, and markers are all great tools to use during our draw alongs. Pencil, marker, um, crown, oil pastel. Just remember if you're gonna be painting it, you can't use a um, Crayola or a regular marker to draw it. You'll have to get a marker um, that won't bleed. So I'm gonna use a permanent marker. And the first we're gonna do is we're going to start above the fold towards your left corner. And we're gonna start with the tip of the nose, the circle of the eye, and then the back of the body. So, I mean, I know this is a difficult line to see compared to where you're putting it here, but that's where we're gonna start. So, here's my left corner. I'm gonna come in some. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line. And then a big old eyeball. And then from here, this is actually gonna go back down the neck and I'm gonna go to my invisible line and stop. And then curve right underneath my visible line and then come out. I may be running out of room for the tail. <clears throat> we'll see. So that is the first step. The top of the nose, your eye, the back of the neck, and the back of the body. So now we're gonna start on that top line. I'm gonna make a big goofy mouth on our dinosaur. So it's like a big J that it's gonna be right underneath our eyeball. So I'm gonna curve it around right underneath the eyeball. Add a little smile. <clears throat> Again, it's like a big J. And then we're gonna do the front of the neck and it's gonna come down. We just did this. So we're gonna do the front of the neck. We're gonna add one foot, go across, and then um, hopefully have room to connect to my little tiny tail. So come in from the smile come down to my invisible line, and then I'm gonna curve, come down, down, and then I'm gonna go crossed up. That's my first foot. Across, do another foot. And then, oh, my tail's disappeared. No big deal. So now we're gonna add the other eye and the eyeball. So I'm gonna color in a dot, and then behind here, I'm gonna do half of an eye because they're overlapping, you will see the eyeball. And then I'm actually do the two legs that you, they're on the other side of the body. So the first one just has a little part of the leg poking out. It's like a part of a triangle, I mean a rectangle. And then the other part, two lines back here. So our details, eyebrows, Teeth, triangles, going almost up to the smile. And then some spots. Now these spots, I don't know if you've heard the word organic shapes. There are two different shapes. There's geometric, circle, triangle, and then there's organic, which there's not a name. There's not a name for the shape. It's a shape that's created within nature. A flower would be an organic shape. Um, spots on a dinosaur would be an organic shape or spots on a cow or a dog or a cat. But these don't have names and usually the same, you never see the same shape when it's organic. So I added a few spots on the back 
So what I didn't add on my drawing page, which you can add here, is maybe a line. So our, it looks like our dinosaur is walking on the ground. So we're gonna start on the left side of our paper and then we're gonna stop when we hit our dinosaur. Depending on how much room you have left, I don't have much room. You can kind of see the line under there. So it looks like our dinosaur is walking. Maybe you wanna add a few more details like a sun or some clouds or some trees. I'm gonna stop there with my drawing. I hope you have created your dinosaur and then I'm gonna get my items to add the color. Okay, I'm just using regular markers. Um, so I'm actually gonna make the polka dots pink today and then our dinosaur is gonna be green. I'm not gonna add the color to the background. The teeth and the eyes will stay white. Um, so I hope you've got your colors and you're ready to color with me. See you later, my friends.